thank you for patiently waiting and you are all here still. So, this is Nidhi Behilwats. So, I happened to be a healthcare professional, to be precisely, at one point in time. And that's what I had aimed at when I was a kid. People used to ask, what do you want to be like? So, I wanted to be an MBA professional, having good achievements and all that stuff, good, good names. That's how I defined my life up till. Up till the time, there reached the time when I became an administrator, but then I have to leave my job. So, it was an upside down kind of a hill thing for me because I have been doing every best thing to reach to that top level and I reached it. And now is the time that I needed to enjoy that time, but that didn't happen. So, I think I felt that's the lost. I felt myself to be lost. I crept. I felt depressed. I criticized everyone around me for the situation and never wanted to accept this fact was the only reason for my problems. And I became isolated. My isolation even added worse to my woes to whatever I have been going through. I did not want to talk to anybody. Things started becoming even, even, even more bad around me. And, but I won't want to understand the fact that this has happened. So, what is the way out? I do not know. I was clumsy at that moment. Then, I just tried to stay calm. I had been doing meditation at one point in time, which I lost touch of because of my life and all such things which became hectic. So now is the time I tried doing all those things which I always wanted to do. And I had craved that time that I do not have time in my life to do those things. So now I had talked to myself and told myself, then why are you not doing those things? Now is the time you don't have a job. So then go, go out and pursue all those passions that you have been longing for. So, I started reading. Reading has been my best thing for me up till now. I started meditation and I started feeling better. I started writing. The blogs I started, that was my personal blog which I started at that time in time. So, I started writing. That started healing me a lot. As I started writing, I started getting more assignments which were related to writing. There came a phase when some of the magazines in the healthcare, they approached me and they said that why don't you write because you are a combination of both the things, writing as well as your knowledge. So there it became another new career which has been evolving for me, which I never accepted and never I wanted to do on to it. I still wanted to go back to my career. So anyhow, but I did at the moment, whatever is there in me, I need to pursue it. So I started building on. Then I moved abroad. So there was a time again I need to write something. So I started writing as an expatriate. So many articles I wrote in the Times of India and all such places. All of it I have been doing it from home. By that time I realized that there is a new journey which has been created for me. I have been following my passion only. And none of it is related to the money or whatever it is. No, it was all related to my happiness. Writing has been giving me that happiness which I never had it up till then when I was in my corporates. Though the bugs were great, I agree. So, this brought a time in the point in my life when I started understanding what is it that you want to live from the life. You want happiness or you want just money and don't want to be happy around. So, there was a change which started happening within me. I have a new career, things were going good in my new career. I did not have to do anything majorly towards that. But still a new career was getting formed about me, which I never thought could be there. I never anticipated. So the universe does have some of the other plans which were there about you and for you. But the only thing is we need to accept ourselves. So I started accepting this fact that yeah, I'm out of the job, it's okay. But I am still happy. I am alive, I am in my skin and that's what makes me happy. So when now I talk with the people, there was a different aura altogether that I have. People are happy to listen to what you have in your thoughts. So you develop more of your good thoughts when you are doing so. As you are isolated from the corporates, so you understand that there is you within you, which has to be nurtured, created in a better manner. Keep working on yourself. And from the, that journey till then, and then we started with the website by the name of Story of Souls. This was there just to help every people around, those who are lost or they have something which they want to talk about, where the family is not having that much of the time to get themselves listening. So when we created that form, we had so many stories, 
stories of such people like we had the spawn man story we have environmentalists we have change makers we have single fathers i talked to them i spoke to them and then i realized the life that i have been living is a very blessed life there are people around who are in much of the problems they are too much stressed then they are the actual strugglers and they are still the fighting why am i so worried about my life just because that my life didn't happen the way i wanted and that's what has made me feel about myself as if i'm lost i'm done i don't have anything in my life so when i started featuring their stories i felt that i will be the one who's going to help all these people around however it was these people whose inspiring stories actually inspired me in fact they were helping me to build myself the way i am it was their belief in me which helped me in saying that yes all of these people whatever they are doing i was the one who appreciated them they felt so good about it that somebody is actually there to listen somebody has actually published these stories across and we never knew that some of our stories have reached un there was a journalist in the un and then he was working with all of these things so he contacted us and he asked that this is a lady who is working with some of the water atm kind of a stuff so can you make us connect to her i said yes why not so we never knew that some of our stories have even reached somewhere at the level of un also but that day onwards he told me you are doing good work it is about the work that you are bringing a change in those people's life is what mattered to you and definitely that has mattered to me a lot because these people who never been appreciated never been thought they are doing something good have always been criticized but there is this platform who actually took out the best from those pieces made something which has been so meaningfully and then represented in the world and could have a potential to reach somewhere at the level of a un as well there happened to be one of the person who has reached to howard he has been rather called as an expert from the tea industry from india and he is also known as the tea guy so now when these changes started happening with all those people who never considered themselves to be worthy of anything this they came back they came back and they have actually paid us they paid and we never asked for the money but then they said that this is because of you that today where we are we have reached to our level because one person who has shown faith it was us it was our team so that empathy and the way we have seen people changing and growing all around us made us realize that so you are doing something good people are coming to you and they are saying you are doing something good so then we started formulating this thing in a much more better manner in a concrete way so then we realized that yes there are some stories which are meaningful we need to keep going through that then we had some corporate associations and yes today we are doing as a work which is a business driven all together it is not at all related to what i had been taught or been studied up till though my institute has been a top institute and they are so so kind enough to call me in times and then they call me as a speaker and they are still in touch with me though i have left that stream but to be honest uh, these faculties they were really happy to see that whatever knowledge they have given me i tried to build something more different mending and amending and adding some or the other things to that which has created a different niche for me altogether so i think it is not very difficult for anyone to create something new or different or to mold yourself in a better manner until unless you don't feel that you can do it you will never be able to do it so today i think the journey is like uh, i left my job in 2011 this is 2022 and we have grown very beautifully some of the great achievements have happened in our lives i have been called by all india radio everything we have been trying to do from home up till now i have been very categorical in keeping a team wherein we have freelancers we have a team wherein one of my one of my writer she is a specially challenged as one of the co she was a mother so one of my writer is a physically challenged one of my mother she is working with me she is having two kids but they wanted to earn some money so i was really categoric in looking into the passion and deriving something good in these people who are there and we are connected to make a change in the people around the lives of the people which we are living with 
So yes, money is there, of course, we are all working with that. But to work something which is more ethical, meaningful and are driven with the values for the society is what we really wanted to bring a change to. So I think that has been an awakening. If I would have never moved out of my careers, my corporate jobs, apart from figures and the politics and the peer pressure, I would have never understood that there is a life beyond it which could be a meaningful thing for the people around also. So as I'm making them happy, more helpful, more meaningful, this is adding more meaning to my life also. I feel more fruitful now at the moment. So I think if I can, anyone can be. So I think that has been an awakening. If I would have never moved out of my careers, my corporate jobs, apart from figures and the politics and the peer pressure, I would have never understood that there is a life beyond it which could be a meaningful thing for the people around also. So as I'm making them happy, more helpful, more meaningful, this is adding more meaning to my life also. I feel more fruitful now at the moment. So I think if I can, anyone can be. Thank you so much for listening. <laughs>